bail out or the people are too big to fail for the Libyan pilot who refused to bomb his own people. A pilot has ejected. He rejected the regime. He's floating in the air. A parachute protecting him. It's downright paranormal and his fighter jet is going on without him. He has bailed out of the war machine and hangs suspended by his principles a mile above the ground. A parachute is fragile as a flower or a cloud, but it supports a man. It's focused on a human. It's a renaissance parachute. The lines are like a poem which can save your life. The old regime is losing its grip. It's showing what it's all about when pilots have been told to bomb their countrymen, to cut them into pieces on the ground. The pilot is responding to a higher authority. Instead of dropping a bomb, he drops himself. It is another way to join the crowd. Instead of acting like a robot in a dictatorial cockpit, he is landing like a man and walks away. His fighter jet will burn out in the desert like a cigarette in a bowl of sand. Three words. Spoken word and self-promotion, there is a sound wave, locomotion, with the local yokels vocalizing. Words are volatile, they are connected to the brain, a neurological refrain, it hits you like a lightning bolt. It's in your blood and the revolt is running you. It's hot and cold inside my head, a sense of dread connected to an empty bed, demented though as if he meant it, and the sidewalks have cemented my relationship to city living. The audacity of everybody's audio, the poets saying adios until they're black and blue in the face, a nervous nerve in outer space, and that's where everybody lives. And I believe that it forgives our sins. It is a scintillating universe, a vacillating destiny inherited by virtue of unmerited arrival through the vaginal. Your ego is imaginal. Your magic subjectivity can generate activity that takes a lifetime to resolve. I am revolving into something else and some of us are singing in the graveyard. It is bringing it all back home because you live in your lungs. It gives you breathing room and airy brain waves, I assume, and if the oxygen is making you an airhead and you're taking liberties and think you should be getting royalties, I wouldn't disagree. Refine your voice, your sins forgiven by the void. You're trashy and delusional, the dizziness as usual. The sound effects are kind of cruel. The human body is a tool. It's tuning up the intuition as you walk into the ocean or an uninhibited lake with your libido on the make. It takes a certain attitude. We're looking for some latitude according to the laws of matter and the purple light inside a glass of wine the smoothest ride in town, and all the intonations of complete communication when the poets get together and the literary weather can be dry, or is it stormy with no reason, and the normal folks are hit by winds and lightning bolts, and if they want to lighten up, they smoke a little weed and later get back to the word, feeling like they somersaulted with a joint. It's not their fault if there are signals in the air. An existential laissez-faire who needs a two-dimensional tension when you have the fourth dimension for expanding your persona. It is filling up the phone. But maybe 
It's unrealistic living in a long linguistic dream. An old preoccupation could have had an occupation, but instead you were diverted by the voices and the words inside your head. A time-consuming way of being where you're zooming in on the remote. I'm living by remote control. It's given me an air of being not all there. And then I hear the call of nature. The brain, by definition, is a warp, a human heat wave on two feet, a four-dimensional transparency. It's more than I can hold a candle to, and there are times that I can't handle it, but others have it worse. Incapable of writing verse, their lives are such a bump and grind, the turbulence inside the mind, like riding on a muni bus, and every sentence is a bust. The meanings are illegible, and so you're getting kind of edgy, your mentality deflected, your dimension disconnected. Lost in space, I feel more grounded with a woman. Lost and found inside of her. A twilight zone of estrogen. It sets the tone for all of those misunderstandings, but you come in for a landing with a woman, and the earth is moving. Maybe it isn't worth it. Seeing your autonomy eclipsed by her anatomy, but life is like a woman bending over and I know the ending. <laughs>